In this video, we will learn how to link two motors together as a gantry using the Power PMAC IDE setup wizard. A gantry is a bridge-like structure supporting equipment. They are often movable. In the context of motion control, a gantry is typically positioned by two motors on parallel tracks. It is common for a gantry axis to move a bridge axis. In Power PMAC, the two motors are linked together and commanded as one. Both the leader and follower always receive the same command with no delay. We will divide the remainder of this video into six sections. Setup, skew, homing, manual commands, cross-coupled gantry, and finally, some concluding remarks. Motors should already be set up using the Power PMAC IDE setup wizard. Two virtual motors can be added to follow along with parts of this video. Right-click on your project name in the Solution Explorer and select Add Application. Check the box for Gantry and click Add. Now double-click the Gantry Application tool in the Solution Explorer to open it. In the Configuration section, select Gantry Leader Motor Number from the pull-down. The next motor number will always be the follower. Next, set the skew removal slew rate in your motor units per second. Before continuing, use single motor jog commands to verify each motor moves in the same positive direction. If the gantry bridge is connected, the other motor should be killed for this step. The open loop test can be used to verify the motors have compatible settings. Set the magnitude to a safe starting value like 2 or 3% of max DAC. If the motors do not move, you can increase the magnitude and try again. Connect the gantry bridge and then press the plus and minus buttons to verify the motors appear to move roughly the same distance. Click Couple and accept to enable. Always issue a servo on or jog slash command for both motors after coupling the gantry, killing the motors, or issuing any open loop commands. At this point, you can jog the motors or run motion programs. Skew will be removed once the gantry axis is enabled and both motors are homed. If that is already the case, skew will be removed when both motors are placed in closed loop. Either way, motor X gantry homed will be set true for the follower motor once the process is complete. A homing routine can be added with the homing application tool. To add to project, right-click the application folder and select Add Application Item. Now, double-click the Homing Application tool in the Solution Explorer to open it. Make sure to select Gantry and enter Home Offset values for both motors. We will discuss the values in the next couple slides. Also, enter Abs Pause Phase Force values if a phasing correction at the home location is desired. When you click Accept, a homing PLC and all necessary subprograms will be added to the project. Build and download to add this PLC to PMAC. You can run the routine by issuing the command Enable PLC Homing PLC and then setting the Home Motor X global variable to 1. Alternatively, the Run Test button can be used from within the Homing Application tool. The Homing Search Move trajectory is based on the leader motor but the follower will not be homed unless its index is also observed. If the leader's index is first, leader home offset settings must be used to extend the move far enough to see the follower as well. If this moves the zero position too far, it can be corrected in axis definitions. If the follower's index is first, the move must be started far enough back to see both. This can be done with the starting location section of the homing application tool. When issuing commands manually, it may be confusing whether one or both motors should be addressed. Homing search moves, absolute encoder reads, and a jog hold from open loop should be issued to both motors. For jog moves from a closed loop state or issuing kill commands, it is only necessary to address the leader. Power PMAC gantry setup can be enhanced by the optional cross-coupled gains. Setting these gains will allow each motor's servo algorithm to react to the skew for the tightest physical coordination between motors. The cross-coupled gains for the gantry can be set with the Advanced Interactive Tuning tool. 
be sure to set Gantry Control Mode to cross-coupled. Gantry gains can be viewed and edited in the Interactive Position Loop Tune. The effects can most easily be seen in the Parabolic Velocity Move. In the bottom plot with cross-coupled gains, the following errors are much more tightly correlated. PMAC can combine two motors into one for a gantry axis. The IDE setup tool and advanced tuning are fully compatible with gantry setup. Skew is automatically removed after homing, which can be set up through the homing application tool. When issuing commands manually, some must be issued to both motors. Cross-coupled gantry provides the tightest coordination between motors and can be set up automatically with advanced auto-tune. Thank you for your attention. We hope that this video presentation was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your local Omron representative.